questions tonight about outrageous abuse in the foster care system. Some are calling this a case of kids for cats. Sometimes the people who volunteer to take these kids in do it for the wrong reason. When a child enters foster care, that child has likely experienced instability, causing a disruption in brain development. Foster care may further add to the damage, especially in children who are moved from family to family. Do I think, as scientists say, that multiple foster placements affect brain chemistry? Uh, yeah, 100 percent. Researchers have also found differences in the way foster kids handle stress. It's estimated that a third of the kids who age out have experienced homelessness. That one in four end up spending at least one night in prison within two years. Not a pretty picture. Dimitri, like most kids in long-term foster care, is hobbled by the trauma of just being in the system. But in one case, the news is heartbreaking for two siblings trying to stay together. Okay, so stay with my sister. Let me get this one. Let me get this one. There are two siblings here: an older sister and a little brother. And the little brother was just placed, and the older sister has to stay here. Older siblings are some of the hardest kids to place in the system, and, oh, man. If we're separating siblings, we try to do it as quickly as possible because it prolongs the pain. We found a placement for him. We haven't found one for her. You got some stuff? Did you come with some stuff? No? All right, let's find out. In a perfect world, there would be a home with two beds for two siblings. But it's not a perfect world, and it's far from a perfect system. By the way, I'm not saying that foster children should have been aborted. If you're so pro-life, which we all know you're really not because you were, you wouldn't be against gun control after a series of mass shootings and even one of many resulting in the deaths of 19 children or forcing women have babies who will defiantly not have a good life due to whatever reason, whether it be for poverty or being born in a family that didn't want them in the first place. Because there are foster homes, etc., you should at least know what you're talking about. And I know for a fact most of you are talking out of your crusty and washed ass because it's basic knowledge to know there is always a chance that the balloon can break. You cannot make abortion go away by criminalizing it. Mm -hmm. All you do is you make it unsafe. You put women at risk, mm -hmm. poor women, women of color, yeah. women who don't have the advantages of middle class wealthy women to travel somewhere and get an abortion. Mm -hmm. um, it's discriminatory, it's unfair, it's unsafe, and uh, to me it's just a total outrage against, against women. It's a woman's choice. People who say making abortion inaccessible is pro-life come off as nonsensical and ignorant. It's not pro-life if so many people are going to die out of the illegality of this. It's basic common sense. You can't make abortion go away by criminalizing it. People are still gonna find a way to do it. Men will still find a way to force their girlfriends, daughters to do it. Just puts more people in harm. It's not pro-life at all. Encouraging an abortion ban is not only sexist, but racist, y'all are fake and hypocrites. Look at the pictures. And lastly, be in the foster care system is not a desirable feat. It's extremely underfunded and for years it has left millions of kids and young adults traumatized. It shouldn't be a backup plan. And of course all children suffer in FCS. But you give black children the short end of the stake and everything.